simple for all? It's not easy. <laughs> but it's simple. Okay. Um, just taking a look here, Pinanita. Okay. So this hand comes up is a high block, cross high block. Your hand comes up, which can be a grab. As you turn, you have your down block, correct? So this is more of a controlling crawl. This is it. You're going to slam somebody hard on the ground and they're not going to get up for a while, bro. This is somebody's coming in, they're getting out of hand, and you just need to control them, okay? So let's say you're reaching for me or punching or doing something, yes. So he comes in, you turn him. My high block is attacking the shoulder this time instead of just blocking the arm. So I'm moving in deep on the opponent. So maybe my cross checks it and I come in deep. Now I'm going to grab here, okay? So this arm pushes the turn, this hand is going to pull, all right? So again, as he comes in, this hand pushes, this hand pulls. I'm just going to bring it right down. And control it one more time, just so everybody can see. This hand is going to lift, okay? This hand's going to grab. If you just pull straight across, he's not going to go down. This elbow needs to drop. You need to pull it down, just like our down block, the hand comes down, okay? So as this turns, this grabs. Now I've got control of both shoulders. All I'm going to do is turn and control him down. When you're doing techniques like this, you want to make sure you apply pressure with the elbow forward. So if I'm in here grabbing, this elbow goes forward. If I'm in the front grabbing for control, this elbow goes forward. Because it gives a fulcrum for somebody to pull on it. Right? He's not going down. I'm here and I just pull, he's not going down, right? But if I use this elbow, okay, now you can gain control over your opponent much easier. Can you do the same thing with the arms? Same thing as the arm in here, using that elbow to create more strength, okay? Elbow's tight, right? We always hear that in crap, the elbow's tight, elbow's tight. So use it when you're doing your book guy or you're fighting. Yes, sir. You may go to the outside a little bit, it depends on the height of your opponent. Run up here real quick. Okay. Where's your arm on my shoulder? Well, where's your arm at now? Right? So it depends on the height of your opponent. Remember, kata gives you an idea. But when you do it in combat, it's not going to be perfect. Because what does Sensei always tell us? Well, Aim for the, aim for your own nose on your high point. Aim for your own nose, aim for your own nose, you know, same level, right? But then you get in combat and everyone's a different height. If I were going to punch his nose, I'd have to be down here, right? If I were fighting somebody much taller, I'd have to be up here. Applies with everything, your high block, your down block, your shuto, everything. It changes once you're fighting somebody, just a little bit, just a little bit.